Hello everybody and welcome to this video about Google Street View mode of Pilot Era. One of the main features of this camera is the Google Street View mode which allows you to create maps. But let's explain this a bit better. Selecting the fourth shooting mode you enter the Google Street View mode and in this mode the camera records a video in 8K at 7fps with geodatas in each frame. This video is already stitched and you can watch it in the gallery but it's made to be uploaded on Google Street View to create maps. But how does it work? On the camera you have a live preview and as for the other shooting modes there are pro settings for ISO, EV and stitching reference and the countdown. For the Google Street View shooting the camera should be put on a car or you can wear it using a backpack and after have started the recording you just take a ride on the car or walk around on a new or undiscovered road and record the video. Then going in the gallery you can find your footage with the Google Street View logo and tapping on the uploading icon the camera will make you log in into your Google account and you will be able to upload the video on Google Street View. And if your content is good, it will take around 24-48 hours to process all the footage and create connections between the pictures. But why did I say pictures? Because recording a video in 8K 7fps, you have every frame with the geodatas and Google Street View during the processing will choose the pictures based on the coordinates to create new maps and create the connection between them. And if approved, this map will be visible as a blue line on Google Maps. It is also possible to upload single pictures or a bunch of single pictures to Google Street View and they will be uploaded accordingly to their GPS data. And here you have to pay attention. The GPS of Pilot Era is very, very good, it's very precise, but it's a normal GPS and not a GPS. So basically it has to be connected to at least three satellites to have GPS coordinates and it will take around 60 seconds to be connected to them. I advise you, because of course the GPS sign signal it depends on the environment, depends on the buildings around you, so if you have high buildings around you I'd advise you to wait a bit more to have a good GPS signal because if the camera will not be connected to, the, uh, to at least three satellites, it will not have the GPS signal, it would not write geodatas on the footage and if there are no geodatas Google Street View would not process it so basically you'd lose your work and for this reason I advise you to wait just a bit more and let the camera connect to the satellites because it's very precise and also from an indoor environment it will always connect to them. Once you started to upload your footage on Google Street View you can even pause it and start in another moment and you don't have to start again because the camera will continue to upload your footage from the moment uh, when you stopped it. And that's it, it's very easy, so you just have to keep in mind those little things but it, they will be automatic for you if you continue to shoot with Pi Thank you for watching this video, have a nice day!